If you're in need of some laughs, you'll want to head to the Skyline Comedy Cafe through Saturday in Appleton. That's where Matt Bronger is performing. He joins me now uh, live. He's here, live, right here. It's actually there he is. Me. Yes, it is. Yep. And, and Matt, uh, you've been doing a lot of stuff lately. I mean, you're mm -hmm. on Comedy Century. You released a new uh, CD or digitally digital download, Soak mm -hmm. Up the Night, right? Yeah. Well, uh, w what else have you been doing? Uh, well, I've got, uh, I've got a project I'm de developing with uh, Comedy Central right now that's a, uh, basically a sitcom based on um, uh, my life if I wasn't a comedian, mm -hmm. basically. So I'm writing that and, and uh, getting that uh, cast and shot, and that'll, I'll turn that in around February. So that's taken up all my time wow. besides just being on the road and, you know, touring. And talk about being a comedian, because I understand some of your family members don't really think that's a job. Well I, <laughs> well, I have a huge extended family. I'm an only child, okay. but I have my father has six brothers and three sisters, and they all have families. And the older members, I think when you do anything uh, outside of the norm, I'm sure you've had family members that are like, wait, you do what? Right. Like when you started out, you know, I had a, a uncle at a family reunion who I was, uh, he was like, so what are you doing for a living? And I was like, oh, I'm a comedian. And he reacted as if I said, oh, I'm a ninja. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, like something that insane, like, yeah. oh, we're black pajamas, silent killer. Uh, like, I was like, oh, I'm a werewolf. Yeah, when the moon is full, I slaughter the innocent and wake up naked on someone's lawn the next day. Thought I was an alcoholic, just a werewolf. <laughs> oh, I, I, uh, I hunt and kill unicorns for their candy-like meat. Wear a purple vest and no shirt, I'm a unicorn hunter. Like, something that insane. It's just right. like, I'm, I'm just a comedian, you know. Yeah, they don't really understand. They don't really, <laughs> they don't they don't really understand. They don't understand. Hey, you've made your um, uh, national uh, debut. I mean, you were on... Uh, Conan, or the, when he was on the Tonight Show, right? right? Sure, yeah. mm -hmm. And then uh, Letterman, so Letterman, right? Yeah. Um, the Conan thing went pretty good, but yeah, it, it had like an interesting interchange with uh, yeah. I mean, it's Dr. Sanjay Gupta. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, yeah. There, there's, it, you know, there's always the the behind the scenes, you know, stories. And and uh, my favorite was I uh, I was on there with John C. Riley and Dr. Sanjay Gupta, and then it was me to come out and do my little five minutes of comedy. And uh, Dr. Sanjay Gupta was telling a story of how he was asked how he, if it is, he has done anything medical and emergency uh, wise recently. And he said he came across a car accident once and a person had, uh, sorry for the morning uh, John mm. being, supposedly the guy had like a cracked skull. Okay. And so Dr. Sanjay got what tools he could find, like a, a drill and some things and sterilized them and got the guy stable, uh -huh. fixed his head and got him to a hospital. And the guy lived without any damage and he's fine. And then I go out and I go tell my five minutes of, you know, <laughs> jokes about Taco Bell and things. <laughs> and then so I go back and I sit on the couch and shake Kona's hand and John C. Riley's hand and Dr. Sanjay Gupta's hand. And as we're going to commercial, Dr. Sanjay Gupta leans over to me and he goes, that looks really hard. Is that hard? <laughs> like, you fixed a man's skull. It, it, it's not that hard. I mean, I don't know what the perspective is, but if I found someone that was injured like right. that, I would hope my screaming like a girl and, and tears would help because that's all that could... I could offer, you know, but it's it's funny how that, he thinks that's hard, and I think what he does. Very is, uh, funny. You know? I mean, and people think, uh, I mean, they're petrified about getting mm -hmm. in front of people and talking and sure. doing what you do. You know, I got to read you that I got to read you something you wrote. Uh, okay. now, you do Twitter, right? Yes, I do. Now, are these Twitter lies? Because I can understand how a comedian really has to edit thyself. Sure, sure. When they do. Yeah. I don't remember ever buying the pants I'm wearing. I think a reverse burglar put them in my closet. Yeah. Is this stuff that you Twitter about? This is yeah, great. Yeah, well, thanks. Hey, I, hey male ba bartender singing drive by the cars to single women at the bar is incredibly creepy. Or so I was told when I bartended. <laughs> 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 Who's going to drive you home? Yeah, well, uh, the great thing about Twitter is that, I, I mean, I'm more of a story-based comedian. I, I, my, my stuff goes on and on and goes all over the place. With Twitter, you have to edit yourself. Right. So it's, it, that's what's uh, fun about it to me. I mean, I, I understand when people are like, I don't get it. Why would I care what you ate for breakfast? You know, I only follow people people that write entertaining or informative things mm -hmm. and I try to keep mine to that you know that standard as well so, so it's been it's 140 characters has kind of helped me write shorter jokes with more punch yeah I guess, yeah you know well if you want to follow him on Twitter or Facebook or what else MySpace and mm -hmm. all that stuff you can do that or you can see him at the Skyline Comedy Cafe Matt Bronger and he is there now well actually you're here now I'm right here right, right now but, but yeah. later on today you'll be there yeah. uh, through Saturday you can get information on fox11online.com and click on Good Day Wisconsin thanks Matt thanks for having me we'll be right back you're watching Good Day Wisconsin